My darling, has the pain finally stopped? Very good. Your transformation took up an unusually long amount of time. I was beginning to think I might have made a mistake with the ritual. I'm glad to see it has worked after all. Though I am terribly sorry for the prolonged torment that you had to go through. How do you feel? Ah, no, my love, no, my love. Don't try to get up yet. Just keep lying down a little bit longer. Your body has gone through a lot during the past few hours. It wouldn't be wise to ask too much of it right now. Don't worry, darling. I am here for you. I'll take care of you for as long as it takes. After all, now that you have joined the Children of the Night, we have got all eternity to ourselves. How does your body feel, my love? Are your muscles sore? Yes, I was feeling much the same when I was turned. Oh, so many centuries ago. We may be more resistant to pain, but having every muscle torn apart, cell by cell, is enough to cause anyone to scream in agony. Fortunately, the pain is temporary. After your body is fully healed, you will feel stronger than ever before. Powerful. Untouchable. Our strength is superior to that of mortals in every regard. Don't worry, though. Rest easy, my dear. Don't worry, though. Rest easy, my dear. I'll be there every step of the way to make sure your newfound strength won't go to your head. <laughs> it is a common pitfall for the newly turned to go on a rampage and, and end up doing things that they'll regret for all eternity. Unfortunately, I am no exception. All aspects of a machine made to kill, united in one's very own body, senses heightened like never before, the physical strength, eventually joined by the psychic abilities, it all combines into an overwhelming feeling of might only amplified by a never-ending thirst. I... I'll take great care that you won't develop the same blinding red veil which I once fell victim to. You have nothing to worry about, my darling. I promise. The only blood which will ever touch those perfect lips of yours will be obtained in a way that won't weigh so heavily upon your soul. Your tale won't be one of rage and murder. Your conscience won't be broken by the sins of your youth. For as long as I live, I will make sure of it. That's right, my love. Forever. Bit in your lip. Careful with your new teeth, dearest. Here, let me kiss the blood off your face. Show me those gorgeous fangs, darling. Ah, oh. <laughs> they're perfect. 
sharp enough to cut my skin if I were to run my finger across them. You were beautiful as a mortal, but now I didn't know perfection could be improved upon. <laughs> I want to thank you, my love. You've gifted me with the greatest sacrifice. You've given up your mortality simply to, to be with me. And for that, I will be forever grateful. I told you time and time again how arduous the life of a vampire will be. How much time it will take for you to adjust. All the hardships that will be coming your way. And yet, you decided that it will all be worth it. I'll make sure you won't ever come to regret that decision. I don't know what I would have done if I had ever to carry you to your grave. I've never loved anyone as much as I love you. And seeing you wither away while I have to stay exactly as I am for all eternity, it would have broken me, darling. It would have taken away the sanity that I have worked so hard to retain throughout all these centuries. I have tried my best not to show these feelings before, since I did not want to influence your decision. There'd be no use in turning you if it wasn't truly your own wish. That said, I am honored that you showed so much trust in me to let me, to let me make such grave alterations to your life. In turn, what do you say we give those new teeth of yours a taste of what's to come? I am sure you must be feeling the hunger by now now that the pain has faded. As you know, it is customary that the first taste of blood that a newly turned receives stems from the very vampire that turned them in the first place. Are you ready to celebrate this ritual with me? Don't worry, love. You won't hurt me. I'm immortal. Besides, my seniority over you means I could easily subdue you if you were to be overcome by bloodlust. I doubt this will happen, though. The blood of mortals will surely be more to your taste than mine. But this ritual is not celebrated simply for tradition's sake, either. In drinking my blood, you will gain some of the strength that I have amassed over centuries. Its unique components will help to bring back some of the life to your exhausted body. Here, let me help you sit up. I'll be sitting right next to you, my dear. Slowly, slowly, don't strain yourself. There you go. Now, you may not be sure how to go about your first meal. There is no need to be afraid, my love. Once your instincts take over, you'll do just as well as any vampire who has lived for thousands of years. 
It's not the biting that's difficult. It's stopping. Here, let me bare my neck for you. Whenever you're ready, feel free to take a bite. My love, why are you hesitating? Are you still afraid? Don't be. It will all be well. If you wish, I can help you let those instincts take over. Would that be to your liking? Very well, my dearest. Open your mouth. I'll simply pierce the skin of my thumb on your fang. There, love. Now, touch the blood with your tongue. Ah. Easy. Easy. <laughs> so sharp. I barely felt a thing. That's right. Drink up, my love. Just like that.